Welcome to Straight to the Point Tutorials. Today I will be retouching, enhancing this photograph and transforming this photo from this stage to this other stage. So here's the photograph I will be retouching. I will use several tools, several AI tools from Luminar Neo. I will use the landscape tool, the sky tool, uh, super sharp and some others to recompose and change the mood of this photograph. So I will move now to the develop tool and here the only thing I will change is the profile. I will change the profile to neutral. Let me check portrait. They're pretty much the same. So I will leave it in neutral. Now the next step for me is to crop the photograph. I will use the cropping tool. And the reason I'm cropping this photograph is because I think that having, you know, the background and everything, I mean, everything in the middle, I mean, she's the subject, the main subject, and it's perfectly aligned with all this, you know, the center of the photograph. Maybe the photographer thought that that's what he or she wanted, but I want to change this a little bit. So I will click the Composition AI button here just to see what um, Luminar Neo recommends. Okay, it's pretty much what I was what I had in mind, but I will move this a little bit up and apply. Yes, I will change the color of this uh, photograph using the landscape. Even though this is not a landscape photo, I will treat it as a landscape because it has um, a lot of outdoors element. So maybe around there, just to add some warmth. Now it's time for me to replace the sky. I will click on sky. I will select the sky for this photograph, this one here. And this, this sky is, is one of the built in skies. You know, when you purchase the program, it will have that one built in and let's see what happens. Okay. Not bad. Let me work on this sky i want this area here let me flip yes okay good and this what's this oh helicopter i can erase that <laughs> so um relight strength i think is okay but i will add more and then the saturation as well the relight strength is adding the same tone of the sky you are adding to the rest of the photograph just to uh, match the scene and blue light human you see is is keeping the the human i mean the subject in this case intact is not applying that so i want that to happen i want the white dress to pop so i think i will leave it that there let me see the vertical position no i think i think i will leave it the way it was Okay, now done with the sky. Nothing else here. Um, yes, the next step is just to erase. Let me erase this helicopter here. Click erase. Done. I will move to the super contrast. Now, here below, super contrast. And now we'll play with the highlights. Yes, some of the mid tone. Yes. I think the balance and the midtowns there. None on the shadows. The shadows will remain the way they are. Let's, let's see so far. Nice. Very cool. Okay. Now, under develop mode, if you have seen my tutorials before, you, you are probably have seen that I um, create a different type of vignette. So the way I do it is I click on the masking uh, tool here under develop mode and I will click on linear gradient and I will draw a gradient from here to here. I mean the bottom to the top to affect this area and then I will switch to light and reduce the exposure just to create that vertical type of framing. Then I will click on masking linear gradient still selected i will click in here and draw another one draw another one here 
Okay. Good. And let me see the adjustments. Yes. Well, maybe I can move this one. No, that's fine. I think it's okay. Maybe I will reduce a little bit this. Okay. So far, look at this. I like it. Really like it. All right now, um, the photograph is sharp enough, but I will click on super sharp and click on the low and wait. Okay, so this is the photograph with the super sharp AI universal adjustment. I think it's good. This is without it. This is with the adjustment and wow, it's cool. What about if I put a regular vignette? Let's see. Yeah, a bad in combination with the one I did. I think it's okay. So there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the like button and the bell so you can get an alert every time I upload new content. Remember, you can go to my website. I have their freebies, you know, presets and some other goodies that you can download for uh, to use with your fixtures and Lumiere Neo or any other program that they use to edit. And then, guys, thanks again for watching. And I see you in the next straight to the point tutorial. God bless you all. Bye bye.